Here's a guide to understanding the different settings in RV Trip Wizard, part of RV Life Pro, which also includes the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app. RV Trip Wizard has two types of settings. When you make your account with RV Trip Wizard, you will be prompted to enter in your default settings. These are parameters like your RV size and drive distance preferences that are typically the same for every RV trip you plan. RV Trip Wizard will automatically take these default settings and use them for all new trips. You can access and change your default settings at any time by clicking on your user icon in the top right corner and then going to Default Settings. Notice that the Default Settings window will have a teal or blue header. If you do find you need to change your default settings for some reason, like you get a new RV, note that only new trips will use your new default settings. Existing trips will not reflect your changes. The other type of settings in RV Trip Wizard is Trip Settings. These allow you to customize your settings for just a specific trip. Once you are inside a trip, you can access the trip settings by clicking on the wrench in the Trip tab. Here you can see that the header for trip settings is red instead of teal. You will typically not have to do much in the trip settings area since most of the time none of these settings, like your RV's height, will change from trip to trip. But once in a while a particular trip may be different for whatever reason. We'll talk more about that later in this video. Let's take a few minutes to talk about the different parts of your default settings. Remember, you can see your default settings by clicking on your user icon in the top right and going to Default Settings. The first tab here shows your general user settings. A lot of this section is personal preference, but we'll go over some of the options that may need a little more explanation. Also, remember that in any of these sections, you can hover over the question marks next to many of the options to learn more. Auto-loading your last trip can be helpful if you're in the middle of planning something but be aware that large or complicated trips will take longer to load. In Show Details Display Preference, remember that Hover for Details won't work on touchscreens, so if you're using RV Trip Wizard primarily on a tablet or iPad, we recommend selecting Click for Details instead. For Map Resolution, High Resolution is usually best, but you can switch it to Low for a particularly slow internet connection. The next tab over is for entering in details about your specific RV. You can use the Look Up RV Info button to auto-populate these fields. Most newer models can be found here, but you may prefer to use the Manual Input option if you can't find your RV model listed. One recommendation is to use the Look Up feature as a guideline, but it's always a good idea to double-check. Physically measure your RV's height and length, and get it weighed. Remember that you'll want to measure the total length of your RV and towed or towing vehicle combined. Having accurate numbers here in RV Trip Wizard is going to be important when it comes to avoiding things like low clearances, length hazards, or small bridges during navigation. Similarly, you'll want to check yes or no on whether you're carrying propane with you in order for RV Trip Wizard to route you around tunnels that don't allow propane. In this tab, you'll also find the RV Fuel Information section. Here you'll enter in your fuel type, your tank's fuel capacity, and fuel economy. Fuel reserve means how much fuel you want to have left in your tank before RV Trip Wizard reminds you that you'll need to fill up. Typically, you'll want an alert somewhere around a quarter of a tank, but you can customize this as you prefer. You can also choose how many fuel warnings you want to be given. Choosing multiple warnings will show whatever number of fuel stops will be needed to complete a drive leg, based on the fuel capacity, fuel economy, and fuel reserve information you entered earlier. Choosing single warning will show only the first stop for that leg. You'll of course still need the other fuel stops, but it won't display them until that first stop is satisfied. For more information on this, check back for our fuel information management training video. In the routing and driving tab, you have two areas to look at. The left side gives you the option to use RV routing or standard routing. As a quick overview, RV routing means that RV Trip Wizard will try to keep you on roads that are more friendly to larger vehicles. While standard routing assumes you can handle most driving surfaces and any roads open for vehicle use. That may be the case for some RVs, like off-road capable truck campers, but not necessarily for big rigs. You can also be more specific in various road features you want to avoid. On the right side, you can adjust your driving time estimates by choosing between the routing engine's calculations 
or entering in your own average driving speed. This is not your speed cruising on the freeway. This is something you'll want to figure out for a full typical day's drive, factoring in slower speed limit areas, rest stops for kids or pets, etc. Many people in RV Trip Wizard enter in either 50, 55, or 60 miles per hour and that usually works well. If you scroll down, you can see your driving radius overlay options. The classic overlay will give you the As the Crow Flies circular overlay, while the advanced radius takes into account actual roads and speed limits. Generally speaking, the classic overlay will give you more of a rough estimate of distances, while the advanced radius is a little more accurate. Lastly, at the bottom you can choose whether you want your overlay based on time or miles. The first option allows you to enter in whatever number of hours you want to drive per day and will generate a single green radius on your map. The second option allows you to view the green, yellow, and red radius lines that reflect the minimum, middle, and maximum drive distances that you enter in here. This is all up to you and how you'd like to see your driving ranges on the map. For more information about the driving radius feature, check back for future videos in our training series. In the next tab, you've got the option to enter in some average daily dollar estimates for budgeting on camping costs, meals, miscellaneous expenses, and fuel costs per gallon. This is a totally optional feature that can help you with budgeting. You can fine tune these numbers by editing individual stops in your trip as well, but you can also set these all to zero if you prefer. Check back for a future video all about expenses and budgeting in our training series. The last tab in default settings is for memberships and preferences. Depending on the type of RVing you do, you'll likely have preferences on the types of campgrounds you choose for your trips. On the left, you have all the different affiliations and categories of campgrounds. Click the blue plus button beside the ones you prefer, and they will move to the column on the right. The difference between these two groups is that on the map, your preferred campgrounds will now appear as these colored icons shown here while any of the campgrounds from the left column will appear as a generic green camping icon. If you have very specific preferences, for example, you only want to stay at KOA or Thousand Trails, you can check this box here to only show whatever is in your preferred campgrounds list, but no others will appear in the searches or map at all, so don't forget to uncheck that box if you want to see all the other options. Generally speaking, it's best to leave this unchecked. Now let's talk about the Trip Settings menu. You can get to the Trip Settings by opening the trip you need and clicking on the wrench icon at the top of the Trip tab. It'll open up our Trip Settings menu with the red header. As we mentioned earlier, in many cases you won't need to change anything at all in the Trip Settings, and when you start a new trip you can go straight to Save Settings if you want. In this section, We'll just point out a few of the key differences that exist in the Trip Settings menu and talk about why you might want to adjust these to be different from your default settings. In the Trip Settings General tab, you can edit your trip's name, add any special notes, and toggle whether the trip status is active, tentative, or archive. Labeling trips as active gives a few special benefits. With active trips, you can opt in to receiving pre-departure emails before a drive day that include weather and information, plus tips from other RVers about your next campground or destination. Active trips are also the only trips that will appear in your mobile RV Life app. In the RV Info tab, you probably won't need to change anything for individual trips, unless you are renting a different RV just for that trip. As mentioned earlier, if you are changing RVs permanently to a new rig, you'll want to edit that in the default settings menu instead. But since that will only affect new trips you create, this is where you would change that RV information on any existing trips that you already started planning. The Routing and Driving tab will also probably stay untouched for most trips, except in very specific circumstances. For example, maybe some extended family members are taking this trip with you and they require shorter drive days. In that case, you might want to adjust some of these numbers. The Expenses tab is another area that could need changes for a specific trip. For example, say your average camping expense is usually $40 per night, but you want to plan this trip to tour RV resorts in Florida or Southern California. You might need to increase the amounts here for budgeting purposes. Or on the flip side, you might plan a trip to focus solely on public or BLM lands or Army Corps of Engineers. In that case, the numbers would also be very different. 
Make sure to hit recalculate if you are making changes in the middle of planning a trip. And that's it for our trip settings overview in RV Trip Wizard. As always, when you're ready to navigate your trip using your phone or mobile device, just open up your RV Life app, tap on the red menu bar, and then choose RV Trip Wizard. Here you'll find all your active trips ready to get on the road.